Hello my friends, today we will make a small element, new motif. I took it from an old book. I will use scheme like this and I call it this element Lysetea. For my work I will use only one color, this will be Fuchsia, 611 number of color. And this is Italian Viscos, Spread Sapphire Looks. In our store you will find more than 30 different colors and a link to our store you will find below this video in description yes to this video and i will use crochet hook 1.7 millimeters and uh, also scissors a needle with big eye just to hide tails and we can start i will tell you about yes each step so first we should make 16 chain loops very accurate and i will make them uh, by using this fuchsia thread. Also, uh, after this lesson, uh, you can join to our free crochet patterns group on Facebook. There you will be able to download scheme for this element for free. Uh, yes, you will see there also photos. And uh, next, uh, also you can use another scheme that we have in our free crochet patterns group. Uh, there you will see information about crochet courses, about making tablecloths, so a lot of useful information. So join just by using link in description to this video and you will get a lot of information. Uh, so let's start. First, this will be 16 chain loops. And without knots, uh, we can start our work. Just hold by fingers this working thread after take like this thread and uh, make a circle. Just make a circle where these two threads cross each other, just catch by fingers after yarn over and start to make this first chain, yes. So we have first chain, second, third, fourth, five, six, seventh, and now eight chain loops, nine, ten. Uh, 16 chain loops we have. Now insert hook to the first chain below two threads and yarn over and join these two loops like this to the ring. After take these two threads on your hook, yarn over and draw through working loop till you see tail at the right side. Yes, leave this tail here after make this working loop smaller and start to make next row. We have like first a chain loop right now beginning of second row and now I will make one more uh, chain just to start yes so two chain loops we have like beginning of this first row now we will make a lot of single crochet stitches around this chain just make them not tight because we will use them in the next row and just make around like this So we should make 31 single crochet stitches. Now we have 7 stitches. I will continue to make them. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 29 we have stitches, now 30 and 31st. So we have 31 single crochet stitches around. After I will join to the second chain loop that we made in the beginning, just we need to make slip stitch and finish this row. Let's see where we have this chain, make a slip stitch. After uh, next row we should make, let's look to our old scheme, uh, so we should start from here, uh, I think we will make 5 chain loops, uh, just this will be length of treble crochet stitch, and after 7 chain loops this will be chain arch, and after 4 treble crochet stitches to the stitches of previous row. Uh, now let's start, first I will make 5 chain loops, 1, 2, 3, Four, five. Next, catch the last chain and make seven chain loops more. Three, four, five, six, seven. After two times yarn over, and now to the next stitch of 
previous of first row, yes, make treble crochet stitch. I will show you right now. Yes, we have it. Uh, now, again, two times yarn over to the next stitch of previous row, make treble crochet stitch again, and two times like this more. So, treble crochet stitch and to the next stitch again. Now we need to make uh, 17 loops and after again 4 treble crochet stitches. So let's make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 17 loops. 2 times yarn over and to the next stitch of first row. Insert hook below two threads and make treble crochet stitch. First one, second one, third, and one more. Now we need to, to repeat the same, so 17 loops, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, two times yarn over to the next stitch of previous row, make treble crochet stitch like this again two times yarn over to the next stitch of previous row make treble crochet stitch and like this two times more now again 17 loops 17 loops make them accurate two times yarn over and start to make four treble crochet stitches step by step again 17 loops two times yarn over And make treble crochet stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two times yarn over. And make step by step four stitches again 17 loops two times yarn over and make treble crochet stitches And now once again 17 loops 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 two times yarn over and now we should make three stitches three treble crochet stitches and slip stitch joining to the chain that we made in the beginning of this second row first stitch we have second one and the last one now like you remember we made five uh, chain loops in the beginning so we need to join to the chain number five one two three four five insert hook below two threads yarn over and draw through everything yes in such way we finish it to make second row yes and now we can start to make next row to do this we should cross this uh, three chain loops just we, we can make slip stitches and from the middle chain chain number four uh, from here we will start two chain loops to move up and after we will make this long chain nine chain loops we have here so two and nine in total eleven but first we should make slip stitches make them uh, loose not tied we just need to cross few chain loops insert to this first chain make yarn over draw through this working loop go to the next one yarn over and 
draw through this one and once again and now the last one in such way we reach to the middle chain chain number four from here we we can start so now i need to make two chain loops to move up and after nine chain loops this will be our big arch in the third row so we should make Nine chain loops. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine chain loops we have. After we need to join uh, to the middle of next arch. So we have here seven chain loops. We need to find chain number four. One, two, three, four. Insert hook below two threads and make single crochet stitch. Again, nine chain loops. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine join uh, to the next arch one two three to the chain number four make single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine again join to the middle chain one two three four five six seven eight nine and again join to the chain number four one two three four five six seven eight nine okay and again join to the next arch one two three four one two three four five six seven eight nine again join to the next arch one two three four five six seven eight nine and again join to the next one two three four five five six seven eight nine and the last uh, arch join to the beginning of this row and yes we have like this now we need to i will show the last row on the scheme uh, so we have this last row we finish it just right here by making slip stitch i think we can move back a little bit just make one slip stitch joining to the first chain after two chain loops to move up two chain loops this will be arch and after we will start to make all these stitches so now just turn the work and to the first chain i will make slip stitch not tight yes just be careful slip stitch after turn your work and make two chain loops to start this row and after two chain loops this will be small arch and now we will work around this long chain first i will make three single crochet stitches around this chain after three times double crochet stitches one two three double crochet next two times treble crochet stitches first one second one and now three times yarn over and make the biggest stitch in our row right now next one two three chain loops go to the next arch and make their all the stitches symmetrically so three times yarn over make this long stitch after two times yarn over make two stitches like this first one second one next three times we need to make double crochet stitches around this arch And after three single crochet stitches, one, two, and three stitches. And next, we need to make two chain loops, go to the next arch, make three single crochet round in the beginning, three single crochet. After three times double crochet stitches, just around this arch. Next, two times treble crochet stitches. And after three times yarn over and make 
the longest stitch. After three chain loops, and go to the next arch. Three times yarn over, make the longest stitch. Just around this arch, two times yarn over, make treble crochet stitch, and after again treble crochet stitch. After this, three double crochet stitches. One, two, three. After three single crochet stitches. One, two, three. Next, two chain loops and go to the next arch. Make three single crochet stitches. Next, three double crochet stitches. One, two, three. After two times yarn over, make two treble crochet stitches around the arch. And now three times yarn over, make double treble crochet stitch around the same arch. Next, three chain loops, go to the next arch, three times yarn over, make double treble crochet stitch. Next, treble crochet stitch. Again, treble crochet stitch. After double crochet stitch, first one second one third next three times single crochet stitches around the same arch and now two chain loops and join to the next arch make three single crochet stitches after three times i will make double crochet stitches around the same arch now two times i will make treble crochet stitches first one and second one and now three times yarn over make a double treble crochet stitch around the same arch now switching loops go to the next arch three times yarn over and make double treble crochet stitch two times yarn over make treble crochet stitch like this again treble crochet stitch around the same arch next double crochet stitches three times and after the last three single crochet stitches one two even two because we made in the beginning like first stitch we have so just two single crochet stitches and joining to the second chain loop that we made in the beginning of this row make a slip stitch one more chain and leave tail around 20 centimeters fix the thread and in such way uh, we finish it to make our element lysitea i call it and now we can hide tails just take a needle with big eye insert this first tail and now we can uh, just insert this needle in the middle of stitches it's very nice to work here where we have this first row a lot of small stitches so it's perfect area to hide tail we can make uh, only two times like this just cross this area here in one direction and the next move back in the same direction in the same place just change direction and it will be enough just to fix our thread and maybe i will take just this additional area just to be sure that it will not unravel and uh, it's better to make it three times for example here at the top we will uh, fix this thread three times in the same area just for example we can cross this part make it accurate and after I will take this part also and in the same area just change direction insert this needle and draw to this direction and third time in the same area just draw thread to this direction okay now we can cut this tail uh, now just to stretch and open this element you can use steam iron i have such uh, also plastic at cover cover yes uh, from plastic and uh, yes just uh, now very carefully stretch and open this element by fingers yes yeah, step by step we just need to turn this element and stretch it in different directions in such way we will get 
the real size of our motif and you can work at the both sides don't be afraid to stretch this element really strong and like this after again by fingers create yes the nice shape you can move some stitches for example here in the last row it's better to move them and place them in the same area and once again let's iron and stretch everything and in such way I received this element corners like this we have the same everywhere and shape is very beautiful square shape element looks like this so here is our result Lysitea motif Scheme for this element you will find in Free Crochet Patterns group on Facebook. Link to this group you will find in description to this video. So join to our group and get a lot of useful information, beautiful schemes and tutorials for free. And also for this motif I used my favorite thread, Sapphire Lux 611 number. This thread you can find in our store. Link to our store you will find also in description to this video. There we have more than 30 different colors of Italian viscos. And my friends, I want to say that also I am making live workshops each month at GT House Patreon page. There we are making the latest crochet projects of GT House Crochet School. Right now we are making summer top and also wedding dress. So if you want, I will be very happy if you join to our Patreon club of crochet fans. And together with me and with friends, you will create really beautiful projects. And you will get very detailed tutorials, uh, schemes and video tutorials. And also we are talking, uh, yes, at the live workshops, at the chat, so it's very interesting. Uh, this all information you can also find a description to this video. Um, and uh, like this, yes, I hope you will make this element at your home, Lacetea. Try to do this by using scheme and video tutorial. I wish you gorgeous results and see you very soon at the new videos. Bye-bye for now.